Good afternoon, friends. This is Sergey Kromchenko from Los Angeles, California. I still work as an engineering manager of SDAT in a QA I've been for more than seven years. And today we're going to talk about for each loops. But before we get there, a quick disclaimer. The more I code, the more messy my hair looks like. So if you're thinking of becoming an engineer, think twice before you do that. So for each loop is one of the many kinds of loops that we have in JavaScript. We have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of them. But it is one of them, and this one is specifically used for arrays. So whenever you need to loop through an array, for each would be the, be the best one to loop through. Well, the best one with an only one exception. Uh, for loop, you can break, you can stop it. For each loop is unstoppable unless you want to throw an adder. But anyways, let's quit talking about it. Uh, let me just show you how it looks like and how can you work with it and what can you actually do. Let's go. All right, friends, here we go again. So as you can see, we have a for loop here. And that's, that's from our last lesson, our, our last video, which I will show you on the top of the screen. But let me show an equivalent of the for loop in for each format. Oops, not this one, but for each. Yeah, by the way, VS Code will fill it out for you. If you just type in for, it will give you all of the options. And if you will choose any one of them, for example, like for of, it will autofill it for you. So whenever it autofills, it just, uh, it will loop through something uh, called an array, but we don't have it declared here. So we, we're going to update it to friends. So we're going to loop through friends and instead of saying friends square brackets i as we do in a for loop, we're just specifying a name right here and passing as the parameter and let's call it buddy. So we're looping through friends, uh, through friends and each, each of the friend is a buddy. So we're going to say uh, console log buddy and we're going to comment out for loop. So as the result, as you could imagine, we're going to get a list of friends right there, all the names. And same thing you can achieve by using for loop, which doesn't look doesn't look so attractive as for each loop, in my opinion. So once again, for loop is used for uh, for arrays. Uh, it was specifically created for it, and we can do multiple things. Well, number one, uh, just a quick reminder that we cannot break uh, or we cannot stop for each loop, but we can do it with a for loop. So we can uh, stop it on a second or on the third run, whatever, whenever we want. But if we put a break here, it will not stop it. It will just ignore that. And you would have to throw an adder, but it will crash your application. So anyways, let's continue with a for each loop. So uh, that's how we can simply loop through. And then if, for example, we would have, uh, let's say, const nums. Yep, and that, that would equal to an array, 1, 2, 3, 44, 55, 6, 70, or 66. So let's loop through nums. Uh, so whenever we loop through nums and we console log body, body is the parameter. So once again, uh, now it will show us only numbers, not friends. Because body is the parameter and we're loop looping through numbers. So that's the main part that you have to specify, an array name right there. So as simple as that, uh, what we can also do is how about we would loop through an object, which is uh, more likely to be a real case scenario when you would test API. Let's say, let's call it people. People equals to an array, and this array will have multiple objects. And multiple objects will have, um, will have key values such as name, Sergi, then the second one, Oh, let's add an extra one. Uh, age. I'll say I'm 21 because I'm willing to be 21, although I'm not. And then next one would be, well, let me just copy this guy. Multiply them. Boom, boom, boom. Sergi, Anna, Farah, Anthony. Who else we got? Andrew. And Lenny, one is 21, one is 22, one is 20, 33. I'm sorry, far, I didn't mean that. Someone is 11, someone is 41, and someone is 18. Oh, not 218. There we go. So what can we do with these guys? 
uh, let's loop through people and console log body let's change the name uh, let's change it to person so we loop through people and each of the value would be a person so this object is the value is the person so we can send person dot name and we're gonna get a name of each person so let me clear it let me run it again oops that did not work can you guess why because I didn't console log it awesome great job so let's console log uh, person dot name without extra semicolon and it should work now perfect we see all the names uh, how about we see the name and right next to the name we see age that's cool right by the way yeah comma is something you can use um, you can use between values that you pass into console log and it doesn't matter how many you can pass as many as you want and it will show it to you next to each other which is awesome so you wouldn't have to do two console logs and in this case if you would ever decide to um, if you're doing API testing you can simply uh, import your library something like uh, const let's say assert equals to oops require and then we're going to require chai so that's an assertion library so let's say you got uh, this is a return from an api call and you ever find that so we would say loop through each of them and assert is true just for example that person person that name or let's say type of person dot name equals to string so if we would run that with the API and uh, with this library that we do not have installed here uh, it would pass and if the type of the if we would change type to number it would fail because the person name should always be a string should not be a number uh, that's pretty much it easy peasy as we always say that uh, you can use for each loops for anything that you have uh, within an array to loop through uh, and in the next video we're going to talk about for in isn't it awesome we can do so many different things with the for each loop and the more i learn javascript the more i feel like magician hmm anyways uh, August 31st, we're starting brand new QA Automation Engineers Group, uh, which is going to go for five months. If you want to learn more, please click on the link below. Also, we have a Telegram channel where you can see many more updates and uh, all of that is also underneath. Uh, please don't forget to give me a big fat thumb up and what else? Um, subscribe to the channel. YouTube likes it. If you like me, YouTube should do as well. Thank you guys. See you later.